it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is about the shift and the alt key and how that can help you. And this is the scenario I did just today, just a while ago. I had laid out a piece of MDF, and nine times out of ten, you're never going to do this, but I was writing or engraving on a piece of wood that is inside this box uh, for a customer that's making a puzzle with a company's logo and names and different pieces so the names are different links and uh, i put red hairlines around and actually engraved them in and then he can take his chop saw and cut right down that line and all the blocks so that everything's three eighths of an inch apart but that's not what the video is about and then i've got a a hairline black box i've got it locked right now but i could run a a, a test with the red dot pointer on to make sure my wood was in the right spot. But the, one of the things, I had the laser cut out this lot. The MDF takes up like, you know, way up into here. And I taped it down with blue tape on the ruler. And then I actually had the laser cut this out. So then it knows exactly where that, that spot is. And it made life real easy. But the real part of the video is using the shift and the alt key. I need to grab all these names instead of individually grabbing them and, and having trouble getting on them and holding down the shift key, you can hold down the shift and the alt key and just go through here and because you're anything the alt key touches will grab it and then anything the shift key has will keep it selected. So then I can just move those name move those names out put them on the done part and bring in the other names and start putting them in. Now there's probably a way inside of Corel, but not really. In this scenario, uh, this is kind of laser intense and matter of fact, the job runs so fast, but I just put them in and then I moved them over three eighths of an inch, moved this line over three eighths of an inch and then started the next word. But the real video is about the shift in the alt key because with the alt key, anything you select, it selects it. Anything you touch, any part of it, it gets selected. But if you hold down the Alt and the Shift key, anything it touches plus the next time it does it will all be grouped together. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.